to Mammy and Bailey. Hey. Oh, really shirt into it. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Just one more week to go, and I just hope I don't go into labour right now. <laughs> okay. These rules, the government will have you believe that these rules are to protect the public purse and to, for integration. Um, we got a group of 35 families together and put together a report that clearly illustrated that these rules are not fit for purpose and contradict those two points exactly. Yes. Yes. These, these rules force British women to give birth and look after newborns alone. Yes. 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 They force British women, married British women, which is unbelievable, to be single parents. The children to become fatherless and motherless. This is shocking. It's a shocking breach of British rights. I would like to point out in the ruling uh, in the High Court, Mr Justice Blake made a very carefully considered ruling. I would just like to point out something he said. He said, Actually, these rules are against our fundamental British rights laid out in the Magna Carta. We actually have an independent right to reside in our own country. He, he ruled that the new level of financial requirement is not only unjustified, but that it's disproportionate and unlawful. He spoke very clearly of these fundamental British rights. He said, to quote, This is not a right afforded by the permission of the Secretary of State, but it is a fundamental right of constitutional significance, recognised by the common law, which is ancient. This act describes the right as the ability to reside without let or hindrance right to enter one's country as a fundamental human right recognised by all civilised society. He also went on to say an in, uh, inability to um, continue to reside in one country's of nationality because of the exclusion of a spouse, because of a genuine relationship, is an interference with that right of residence. This comes from the High Court. This is our right to be here. We should not be even forced out of our own country, especially in our report. Every single one of those families was self-sufficient. Every single one of them. As, uh, as you can see in our banners, 61% uh, of women will not pass these financial thresholds. Enough said. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Thank you so much, Marianne.